so that we may be refreshed you know refreshed before we go to this outs out outside these doors because there is nothing good out everything is bad 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 you see out of all god will make us good because that's his promise he said he will carry you he will protect you he will defend you also you will be under the his shadow of mighty wings we were reminded this morning so let us look unto the lord for his help so that whatever we may meditate he may open up he may also make understand what is his plan and what we want to receive this this afternoon loving heavenly father merciful and grace god we thank and praise you lord we come into thy throne of grace give you the glory and honor because you are a king of king and the lord of lord as we reminded lord who are a sharon of rosa rose <clears throat> lily of valley you are a loving and kind god compassionate god forgiven god you will never remember no more of our sins oh lord what a promise you have made with us a new covenant you have given us a sweet salvation oh lord this afternoon we rejoicing in the lord father because there is no place like this we thank you lord help us as we meditate upon the word anoint me hide me behind the cross the word may be come from the throne of grace and the power and authority o oh lord so father you lift us our souls encourage us delight us through thy word only o oh father help us to be obedient to thy word also lead us that we may also lord to learn of thy word we may also practical christians wherever we may go lord we may be shiny witness um regarding the heavenly vision we thank and praise you sanctify this place sprinkle your precious blood upon this place we will be lord look unto thee for because you are our author and finisher we thank and praise you committing ourselves to thy loving hands pray with thanksgiving precious and worthy name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen, amen. so brothers and sisters we again um, it's a privilege and an honor we don't need to be invited here no anyone can walk into this place but our brother suman came from mumbai there is a great wedding was going on there we may not be invited he is right next to the neighbor mr anand ambani is it right? richest uh, people in the world they have uh, listed like that we were not invited all the cele cele celebrities and the politicians rich people rich this that that right but look at this god has chosen you out of foolish good for nothing we are nobody but who we believe he is extraordinary he is a great and mighty god who sat on that throne he remembered you mr anand amandi may be not know us who we are right his father uh, 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 what was his name uh, mukesh ambani right he may he never know us but our lord jesus christ know you personally he knows you how we reminded intimately he knows you he know by your name also are what a wonderful man where is that written how can you be so confident it says in uh, many places but one place i'll give 43 isaiah right the first verse says a second verse it says i call you by name can you imagine no one knows even the united states president of this country no don't know our name he doesn't even know his name actually that's the condition he is in because of alzheimer's whatever it may be but our lord jesus christ said i called you by name right anybody found it it says there what now thus says the lord the great king jacob and jesus called you o israel hear not for i am redeemed thee i have called thee by thy name that's it that's it i called you by my your name how he knows man this so many millions of people in the world many believers non believers also he knows how technology cannot uh, comprehend but that is what is called is a mighty god powerful god wonderful father he is a savior of this world 
He has come down to this world to remember you, know you, have a relationship with you, intimate relationship with you, and also he wants to go with you, he wants to sit with you, he wants to fellowship with you. As we speak, he is in our beds. Bible records it, you believe it? Where two or three gather in his name, mighty name of our Lord Jesus, he is here. Be very fearful, don't sit very casually, carelessly. You sit here with the trumpleness, with the fearness. That doesn't mean you shake it like that. Reverence, honor. He's here. If somebody VIP is sitting here, how we sit, you know? I must behave before him carefully. My best behave. Even our bosses, right? When they're passing by, they will say, Hey, John, how you doing? You know? Oh, why? We show more kind. We show more... Um, Reverence. Worldly bosses, you know. Bible also says you honor your worldly bosses also. It says don't, don't do that, you know. Hey, what do you think? No, no, we don't want to do that. Careful. Bible commands it. Bible demands it. So we must do what God says. So here we come. The title of the message, the title of the message, <laughs> youngsters always ask me, Uncle, you don't tell me the message of the title. I said, I always mention it as I speak. It says here, in the light. In the light. Who is light? It's very important to know. There is a lot of lights out there. Very much of lights. But only the light is given to the two people. You know who are there? Two people only. First, the holy God is our light. It says... First John 1 7. Right? Read anybody please. What does he say? He said if you are in the light, his fellowship with you and me. Right? If there is no light of him in us, he's not fellowshipping with us. We have to be very careful. If the light is it's, it's in, in us or not, we need to check every day. How we check that? How we check it? His light is in us by reading the word, by meditating upon the word, by thinking about the Lord. You know, every conversation I have with anyone, anywhere, either they are godly, ungodly, the word of God is released. Surprisingly, they say, wait a minute, are you a pastor? Doesn't matter either I'm a pastor or I'm a teacher. I'm an ordinary citizen just like you. But the extraordinary God who's in me is powerful. Someone says this morning, I believe I, uh, I may be heard in the uh, worship time. How can I be quiet if I known him so mighty and great God? How can you be quiet? I think Joseph mentioned it. How can I be quiet? If you know somebody so great, you know, we just, worldly person, rich man, we remember just now. Huh? We don't know him, but we see here and there about his riches, right? His father's riches. Oh, wow, what if, you know, we think about him. How about our Lord? Who gave you the life and the breath and the strength and the blessings he has showered upon you and the sweet salvation we have received freely, we have, which is you and I did not pay. So, here he says, if you are in the light, you will have fellowship with the Lord. That doesn't mean we should not fellowship with others. Yes, indeed, as we live in this world, we need interact with the people. We should have also good relationship with the people. We, you know, I'm very honest, many a times I see our Indians, no offense, when we see others, mm, I don't know this guy, you know, just trying to ignore, no, don't do that. Have a friendship, talk it out, be open, say that, you know, I'm an Indian, I came from India, I love Jesus, oh really? Yes, I love, you Hindu people, how you love Jesus? Well, he was introduced to us. Would you like to hear it? Because the light is in you, the light should shine. Otherwise, it is useless. You and I live in this world for good for nothing. Are you afraid? 
think that's uh, something is I can hear a reflex. Oh, it's okay. So, one of my colleagues, I was sharing with Abby, uh, oh, you, ha you have known people from higher authority. I said, you're right. <laughs> but let me tell you something to you. Not in the head of the department who higher department now. I have a heavenly higher department. I, come, I get the help and strength and I get the, all the recommendations. I get all the influence from him only. That is what you need to be standing boldly to say. Yeah, they may not like you in a minute. They may not be a favor to you. That's fine. Be bold. Be witness to the Lord. Shine of the Lord Jesus Christ is in you. Let this mind be like a Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. Repeatedly says that word. Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 it says, Let this mind be in you, in Christ Jesus. Why we are not bold enough to tell others? Why are you afraid? You know, some part of the world today, especially our homeland, Many, many believers are persecuted, not even persecuted, they are even killed. That doesn't mean I'm saying just go in the middle of the road in India and say, hey, Jesus loves you, come and accept him. I'm not saying that. Of course, look for the opportunities. Look for the moments, situations when they share with you some kind of a situation. You open up. Oh, I don't care, who, who cares? This is our famous word for many believers also. I'm talking to only believers. Oh, who cares? I have no free, I don't care. You don't care. Then you are, have no light in you. The light of Lord Jesus Christ. There is another light. We, we didn't, we, I didn't mention this. Open of 2 Corinthians 11.14. 14. We must be very careful with that second light. Huh. Anybody read? Be very careful, my believers, brothers and sisters. Be very, very careful. We work with him. We always work with him. We don't work with the Lord Jesus Christ very few times. Maybe. Maybe. But we work with him very, very, very well. You know, with somebody reproach, somebody approach, somebody say something, confront you, somebody trying to revoke you. <laughs> what do you do? Hey, you don't know who I am. That is the first thing comes out of us. But you as a believer, as a Christ's light is in you, what is your attitude and you are at life and testimony? Paul says, I must die daily. Are we doing it? With the humility, with the humbleness. Yes, nobody favor you. Either in the, even in the families also. People don't favor you. But, are you under the grace of God? Even we were reminded, Paul was, he has a thorn. God has put the thorn. He said, I thank you, Lord. You give me the enough grace to be dealing with it. Don't you think we all have a many thorns? I have a many. I don't know about you. I have a many thorns. What do you mean by that? Can I list it? <laughs> it's no use to be listed. All of us have some situations, some trials, some tribulations. Andiya, tufane, gadbada, sob hai amare zindagi mein. Magar am kuda nesu me si ku dekhte hai. Ho hi deta hai, am ku thakat dekta hai. Kuvat deta hai. Uski rahmat, uski dua. What I was saying, I'm sorry, I was using some Hindi Urdu words. Many are problems, many are situation I go through, but I look up to the Lord Jesus Christ. He's my power, he's my defender. He who delivers me. So that Romans 8 31 says, If my Christ is with me, who can be against? Are you confident in that? Huh. Post it for me because I, I cannot open the Romans 8 31. If Christ is with me, who can be against? Huh. Anybody read, please. If God is for us, do you believe in that? His light is in you. He dwells in you. He lives in you. Be very, very careful. Many a times we don't remember. We don't remember last week what brothers speak. You think we remember the Lord Jesus Christ? Only we remember when you come to the prayer meeting and church meeting. 
some brothers we meet and talk about it. Otherwise, when you're lonely, uh, what I will eat today, where I should go today, what I wear today, this is what our thoughts are. But it's okay to have all that. The preeminence, priority, we must have Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, without you. Psalm 16, verse 8, verse 8 it says, right? Put the Lord always before you. You will never be shaken. You will never be moved. Right? We don't need to go for the reference. Asha, king of king Asha, he was 20 years old when he became king. What was his prayer? You all know. Earnest, earnest prayer, sincere prayer, heartfelt prayer, trusting prayer, believing prayer. God answer his prayers. If God answers Asha's prayers, David's prayers, Daniel's prayers, why he didn't hear your prayers? There must be something wrong with us, isn't it? We must check, Lord, your light is in me. Your word is in me. Do I fear you? Do I put before you all the time? If not so, Lord, remind me. Enlighten me. Even when I go in the train, I read the word in, through the phone. That's okay. You can, because it's too crowded, you know. Some people peek, you know. I purposely show them, you know. Go ahead, I'm reading the word. I'm not doing anything wrong. They, they see the two languages, because I always keep it two languages, Telugu and English. You know. They read a little bit, then they'll get bored. It's okay. If they have a question, I'm ready for them. But do you have the light of the Lord Jesus Christ in you? It's very important. So when we walk in the light, Revelation 1 and 5, please, anybody read? We see there, unto him the Lord, uh, unto that the love of, yeah, anybody read that for me? Unto him, see that loved us and washed us from our sins with his own blood. It is his own blood. We were washed by him. That's why we are able to have his spirit in us. See, I always reminded, um, uh, what was that verse? Anybody remember? I will give you the word, maybe you can give me the reference. The spirit will testify he is the child of God. Eight, Romans 16, 8, 16. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit huh. that we are the children of God. The Spirit will witness that he is or she is the wit uh, um, uh, um, child of God. You know, it's not easy. Someone says he's a child of God. She's a child of God. It's not easy to label because they have to see your life and testimony. Are you going through the persecution? Are you going through the embar embarrassed? Or you despise, disrespect? Huh? Yes, they have. They tell me, hey, why Indians limps? Hey, why Indians shakes their head? Why Indians smell like a curry? All these things. Oh, why India don't have a car? They ride in elephants. All these things. What is your attitude towards that? Hey, you don't know you're a stupid guy? Don't have no knowledge? No, no. You be kind, show them, yes, even in the remote areas, people may have a ride on the elephants. But it's, it's very developed cities, many areas in India. Go and Google it and see. They will be embarrassed, but they're trying to embarrass you, but you be kind and compassion to them and pray for them. Same time you pray for their salvation. Give the gospel to them. Jesus loves you. No matter what you, you have done in life. You may be did terrible things. But God, when you confess, when you ask God to forgiveness, in, in any terrible sin, it will be forgiven. Bible records it. It has nothing to do with me. But don't do repeatedly. Don't do repeatedly because that doesn't make no sense. When we truly repent, so Lord, I am sorry what I have done. I will never do this again. Yes, you will be merciful, you will be very gracious according to the will of God. 
So here he comes. Um, God has purchased or washed us with his own blood. Not the cows, not the goats, not any other animal. Lord Jesus Christ himself. For you and I, worthless people, useless people we are. He is so mindful of you and me. He gave his very life for you on that cross. You know how great, marvelous thing he did done for you? We never understand that. We just say it, you know. It says, it is written, some people say it. No. Do you mean it? Do you understand the deep depth of that? What he has done for you? With that, you will worship you 24 hours a day, as, as long as you wait. You are not going to sleep. Oh Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you. You gave me the life. You gave me you. Uh, what is that? Uh, John chapter 10, 10, 10, I think. It says, right? He says, I have come to this world to, to give you life and an abundance life. Not to rob you, steal you. It says there. Huh. Please anybody read. The thief comes not but to, but for to steal and to kill huh. and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have life. That they may have it more abundant life. More abundance life. What is that? My dear brothers and sisters, very important to have the Lord Jesus, I mean, life of Lord Jesus Christ. And um, secondly, we see, it, 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 you know, secondly, we'll see here, um, worshipping in the light. Where is that says? First Peter 2, two nine. Again, this <coughs> word is repeated, you know, many, many times he was shown this, right? We were chosen. A generation of the Lord Jesus Christ. We have a generation, see, we have our last name, if we would Type it in, uh, what is that, um, ancestor.com, <laughs> right? You will get, oh, people, we, we don't even know them. Forget about it. Here it says, but we are a chosen generation of royal priesthood, the holy nation. Oh, wow, I like it. Huh. Then what he said? A peculiar people. You are a very separated people. You are so special people. That is what the Lord wants to tell you. He wants to declare that his titles to you and me. Anybody else he said? Huh? Huh? Call you out of darkness. There is no dark, darkness in you. You are enlightened by the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ in you. He, you you imitate him like him. You act like him. You behave like him. That's what it comes. For that, you have to work so hard for that. Very hard. Especially young people, I will tell you. Yeah. You encounter many, many difficulties. It makes you furious. It goes to the, your bones to be upset, you know. I will get it, get them, you know. This is what, because when you're young, it's very hard to control it. But when you allow the Holy Spirit of God, He will control you. He, your thoughts, your emotional, your anxiety, all other things. He'll take charge of you. You don't need to worry no more. Cast all your burdens upon me, I will carry. That's what the Lord said. You believe it. Uh, yeah, I'm a young man, you know, I can just, uh, you know, one punch. Yeah, I've been there, I've done that. Yeah. But you know what? <laughs> Lastly, I sit and thought about it. How foolish and useless things I have done. So here we comes. When we worshipping him also, how you worship, Lord, because you have chosen me. You have called me peculiar generation. You have called me priesthood. Oh, wow. He called you priesthood. You belong to the priest a family, Levites. You know? We are no more Benjamites. You know, the, the lowest, the tribes in Israel is the Benjamites. Who came out of that? There was a great man came. Uh, King Saul. Who said that? King Saul. He's a Benjamite. God chosen him. 
But his beginning was wonderful, the ending was a little bit bad, but that's okay. God will take care of that problem. But how we are, we don't have a, no recognized families in generation, right? But God has chosen. That's the word, you know, God chosen us. We may be whatever the family we belong. The spirit of God is in us so that we worship him in the spirit and truth. In the light we are, we are able to come with the spirit and truth only. Otherwise we, we cannot be worshipping the Lord you know, truthfully. And thirdly it says, walking in the light again. Ah, Romans chapter 13 verse 12 please. Thirteen, twelve. Mm. Right. Ah, so, also, First Corinthians six ten. When you walk in the light. You see many things around you, temptations, circumstances, even you are forced to do things that you don't want. So what we have to do? Oh Lord, be with me, hold my right hand. Huh? We were reminded 121 Psalms verse 5, he says, Lord is my keeper, his shadow, his right hand may be upon me. That's my favorite words. 91 Psalms 1 also he reminded. The most high God who seat on that throne is taking care of you. Yeah? So, how important you or I to know our Lord is watching you. His spirit is in us. How can you defile? Know ye not that you are a temple of God. It says in the Bible, how can you defile the Lord's body? Oh, I, you know, I'm talking about the believers who drink they have a, sh a shots, they call. Where do we stand? Uh, brother, drinking a wine is, is the wrong thing. It is, because alcohol involved in it. What alcohol will do? Rise your blood pressure. It makes you to forget who, who you are. And you will become violent. You will become a rough and tough. Then you don't remember later on. But damage already done. Is this a godly thing you're doing it? Especially young people, no? We must be very careful because we were invited to, to be a, a company parties or some friends' proper, uh, uh, parties. I don't go. I love you. I give you the gift. Bye-bye. When I have opportunity, I will give you the word. I will give you the Bible also. That is my aim and goal. We all should have that. Are you, what you will think if I don't go? I will lose his friendship. That doesn't matter. He will know this fellow is a separated person. He's a royal priesthood. He's a godly man. He's the. He doesn't mingle or interact. He doesn't associate with things that is not pleasing God. They will know your life and testimony. It draws them closer to cross. You are a beneficial for them. Eh, let me have it and then, then you know, you're losing the soul temporarily in this world, but you're losing permanently in heaven. You are a cause of that person. Either sister, I mean, the lady or gent, doesn't matter. You are a cause of that person that you are uh, making that person to not to be entered into the kingdom of God. Be very careful. All of us, we have to be warned by that. 33, I mean, I mean sorry, uh, this November comes 30 years of my service. I have never um, uh, reproached anyone or upset them anyone. Even they are so bad to me. I ask the Lord to give me thy love. Give me thy kindness. Give me thy patience. Galatians 5.22. Nine fruits of a spirit. Please read that. You adapt that. You by heart that. Memorize that. You chew and digest that in your heart and your mind. Your stomach and your mind and your spirit. Read that verse for me. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Hmm. Continue. Meekness, temperance against such there is no law. Do you 
you have all that, I'm not asking to raise your hand. I'm not asking anyone. Ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, do I fail any, any of them that written there? It is the law. It is the law written, do you follow? How many of them? I don't know. I maybe not follow all those. If I am telling you I follow that I am a liar, I must be careful what I say. So that Lord may speak to us, he may talk to us, he may prepare us, he may also lead you, guide you, to give you, a, he going to put you on the hill. Your light will be shine all the time. They may have a negativity to say about you, but you know, end of the story, they come to you. They said, I know, I notice you, I always see you. Can you pray for my son? Can you pray for my husband? Can you pray for someone? Really? You see that? They recognize the light of the Lord. They see the spirit of God in you. He is not or she is not the same that we see others. That is the testimony you carry and I carry. Christian life is not an easy walk, cake walk, no. It's a thorn walk, we are reminded today. Jesus Christ who went through the thorn. And you and I be in that wilderness. In the desert. Out of all that, he rose like a rose, like he, and the lilies. Then we have received him. He loved us. We also should look like that. Outside is all wilderness and thorns. You know, we will be, not only we poked, and we also poked Lord. Same time. We get poked by anyone, and we also poke the Lord. Why? Because we don't have those nine fruits of spirit. So may God help us, lead us, guide us. And uh, my time is up. Yes, almost my time is up. So I'm going to go for the last one. Waiting for Christ in the light. Luke chapter 12, 35. Waiting for Christ in the light. Let your loins be girded about ah. and your lights burn. Ah, you see that? Christ should shown all the time. You know, good times we, we heard this morning. Good times and bad times, sorrows time, low selfish low selfish times. And nobody cares for me, nobody loves me, nobody talk to me, you know, we, 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 the Satan will do those things. You know? I don't have no uh, recognized, nobody recognized me, you know, and nobody wants to talk to me, nobody wants to be friends with me. That makes us to low self-esteem, that can lead you to be depression. You know, depression is a very dangerous disease. We have to be very careful, Lord, I may not be caught into that, but Lord, speak to me. Open the Bible. Read it. You read your test books. You read uh, many other interesting books. Or some other articles you read. Newspaper you read. You read uh, social media. You read everything. But why we don't read the word? That is what the Satan will blind us. He will make us a fog on our head. Eh, take it easy. Why you want to read? You know, and also when you read, there is another thing will happen to you. I don't know if it happened to you. It happened to me. When you read the word, <laughs> you will get to sleep like ever before. You happen? Huh? You'll be like this. You will be heading your head uh, on the table or anything you have it in front of you. That's what he does. You get up and make some green tea and drink it and talk, you talk to the Lord. Yeah, talk to the Lord. Lord, speak to me. Speak to me, Lord. Satan is trying to make me to sleep and forget you. Talk to me. Without your talking, I cannot survive. Without your help, I cannot uh, win the cases or win the war out there. There is a warfare for the believer. Everything is a war. Within the families also, there is a dangerous war is going on. What we need to do? <clears throat> we need committed. We need to surrender. We need to renew our spirit. Oh Lord Almighty, protect us. Enlight us with the Psalms 33, I mean 37, 37, 3 and 4. It says, trust in the Lord, do good in the land. I will feed you. Also delight yourself in the Lord. Huh. Read anybody for me. 
he will give you the desires of the your heart what is your heart should be desiring for it let me have a rasmalai some gulab jamun a jalebi and having some uh, empanadas you know whatever it may be out there no lord wants us to be read the word and to have a, see proverbs 1 and 7 we reminded last week fear of the lord is the beginning of the knowledge fear of the lord is the beginning of the knowledge fearing god honoring god respecting the authority of god reading and meditating you will have of all the knowledge why other people are knowledge people we are so dumb 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 found why because we are over confident we self centered people hey i know everything i know lot you know that's you are deceiving yourself be very careful out there is people has intellectual wisdom oh yeah they can defeat you in a sec like like split second you will be like hamana 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 you will be um getting uh, confused how he got that word uh, he hitting me so strongly you know if you are not enlightened by the word of god what is that said we read um 37 psalms verse 4 please it says there delight yourself uh delight yourself in the lord delight what do you mean delight yourself in the lord how you delight we just sit there and say oh lord delight me you know i am you know you choose and chosen me you gave you know my name also you know everything about me delight me no read the word god speaks to you by reading the word of god only nothing else yeah sometimes god can speak through the man of god woman of god someone who are in the spirit of god they have a christ in them yeah god can speak through them also but his Uh, ultimately the word of god the holy spirit of god inspired by the many many saints who are written here is only the lord jesus christ will appear he will be appear to you to me he will talk to us very gently very carefully samuel is able to hear the lord's voice why his mind is upon the lord Je- lord jesus christ god jehovah that's why he is able to sense the god's voice we hear it also we ignore it many times uh, somebody is talking that's okay uh, I, i know what i'm doing it you know that's what the self confidence we are listen to the voice of the lord you will be much better you will be also be way blessed and you can defeat the satan because the lord almighty won the victory on that cross once for all He doesn't need to come back and I get crucified again. No, he did it for you. The same power which is given to the Abbey's favorite verse. Uh, he has not given to the the spirit of the fear. Please read anybody. Yes. And the sound mind. Love and, love and the sound mind. Love word is repeated in time and time today. Since this early morning to up till now. because the love of god is forever it is given you 100% contract no one can break that contract you don't need to be renew either it is given to you that's it what a wonderful our our savior is so may god bless us lead us so that his spirit may be dwell in us it may be rest upon us so that we may be declare simply strictly about the lord jesus christ forgive others be kind to them 100% they are wrong that's okay jesus was 100% right but people prove him 100% wrong i have gone through you also go through jesus told us this is nothing surprise you and i so may the lord help us lead us guide us speak to us and talk to us so that he may dwell in us all the time 24 hours a day until we reach to the heavenly place may god bless you all